Hello there and welcome to another chess video. Guess what? It's a game by Leonid Stein and in this game he shows an exemplary handling of uh, double pawns that you, you often get in uh, anti sicilian uh, variations for black and the result is uh, great handling of the bishop pair especially the light squared bishop. Let's have a look at the game. His opponent Istvan Bilek, don't know too much about him but strong player e4 by white and we have the sicilian knight c3 knight c6 and the grand prix uh, attack and stein goes for normal development e6 knight f3 and, and plays d5 white goes for the pin here black doesn't worry about it too much queen e2 bishop e7 we have d3 castles and white inflicts these uh, double pawns now this can often be a little bit of an issue White can sometimes, uh, you know, play d3, you know, try to, uh, you know, blockade these pawns, maybe follow up with c4, put the knight here, bishop here, attack with the weakness. So, after castles, Stein actually doesn't allow any of that, and he decides to get rid of the double pawns, and he plays c4. So, showing that he might be willing even to, to sacrifice a pawn himself. So, uh, if white takes, he has to break up the pawns. Maybe we play bishop a6, you know, several moves. But white elects to play d4. Uh, this doesn't seem to be the most testing, though. And now, despite getting double pawns, Stein takes on e4. Takes with the pawn. We have to takes takes and queen to d5. Now, if you take, we, uh, we uh, fix the pawns. Maybe we even take with the e pawn actually, and, and the bishop becomes strong. Yeah, probably we do that. Open up for the bishop, and then we can play c5 if we want later. Bishop will be strong on, on f5. So, what doesn't want to do that? Place queen two. And now we can immediately get rid of the, the double pawns and play c5, and notice that this bishop becomes very strong. Bishop e3. Stein now takes. And of course, bishop b7. And this game just flows very smoothly. Uh, white does not want to uh, go for the queen trade because if he does, this bishop will be very strong. It will cover b1. And we can go for uh, an attack on these pawns. Uh, maybe double the rooks. Maybe you know use this pawn to create further weaknesses. Try to push it to a3. And yeah, basically the bishop will be a monster. And then white can't do much about it. So he prefers to keep the queens on, but now rook to d8, he hits the queen, queen f5, and now he goes on, well, what can only be called an excursion with the rook, the rook goes to a5, after interposing h3, rook a5, hitting the pawn, but simply a6, and, you know, black's positional support, super, superiority is, uh, you know, unquestioned, you know, this is a monster bishop, but it's surprising how quickly things fall apart here after knight to e5 because black has a very nice tactical shot can you see how stein entered the game well maybe when i tell you it's it's a tactic it's not too difficult but it's still very nice and stein didn't miss a beat he played rook takes d4 now this is assisted by the fact that the uh, Queen and the bishop line up against d2, so you can't take with the queen. Then you get mated, so you have to take with the pawn. But again, use it, I use the fact that the queen can't leave the defense of the g2 square with bishop to a3. Last stitch effort here by b leg, he plays rook to a3. And if, if we now take on a3, you know, white keeps playing. But queen takes a3. Nice final blow, and black wins a piece. If you take the queen, I take your queen, and I have two bishops, and uh, there's not going to be much more left in this game. So, uh, Bielek resigned, and yet another miniature in the books for uh, Leonid Stein. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.